So how do you how do you fund your budget? I think Steve mentioned too. You can use um, your general fund balance, as he said. The authority to spend lapses at year end, and what happens when that money lapses? So you have an appropriation of you know ten thousand dollars, but you only spend eight thousand. What happens to that other two thousand dollars that you had the authority to spend? You raised the money either through the tax rate or whatever, and then you didn't spend it. It becomes part of what's called the fund balance. So that your fund balance grows by not spending all your appropriations that you're authorized or by bringing in more money than you plan. So if you thought you were going to bring in a million dollars in motor vehicle fees and you brought in one million one hundred thousand dollars because a lot of people started buying newer cars that excess hundred thousand because your tax rate was set based on that one million dollars so that extra hundred thousand kind of becomes part of your fund balance you don't get to spend that extra hundred thousand because remember you're locked into that bottom line appropriation so that's where um, your ex your fund balance grows and you do have to take into account taxes that haven't been collected or other bills that you haven't paid but that's generally what it is um, what do you do with the fund balance? You re, you re, can you retain it for cash flow purposes? I'm sure your town treasurer would say no. You you, you got to be careful because there are times when they, the treasurer has to make payments to the school district. You got to make payments to the county. You know you've got to have money for cash flow. Most towns try to avoid having to issue tax anticipation notes, and that's where your cash comes in. You know having that in hand to cover that. Um, it can be a source of Revenues for future appropriations often see to raise and appropriate ten thousand dollars for XYZ project to come from fund balance. A lot of times that will be sold as uh, it's not going to cost anything because we're going to take it from fund balance. Well, it's the way to kind of that spin has, it. <laughs> I have to say that's the one that drives me crazy. I'm sure you can see there's a lot of things that drive me crazy. When the select board says, "Oh, this has no tax effect," I said, "That's just malarkey. That was money raised two years ago. It has a tax effect. Don't okay. ever say that. That's awful." And part of it is, it can be used to reduce the taxes. The the governing body can determine how much of the fund balance they want to use. What how much at the time the tax rate's being set. How much do we want to use of our fund balance to hold down the tax rate? Well, if you've taken this ten thousand and that twenty thousand and you put it all on specific articles, that just makes that pot smaller. You're not just not going to have it. So, I don't know. A good good selling point. It's for some. <laughs> you know, um, as Steve mentioned, um, retaining it and the recommendation. It, ooh, re recommendation is to uh, have a certain amount that you're retaining. We recommend that that you have a, that the governing body have a policy in place so that this isn't something that they're deciding every single year. That they have a policy with sort of a goal as to what do we want our um, you know our level of fund balance to be, what's appropriate for us.